Good evening. I'm Kevin Abrams, the Commissioner of the Central Canada Hockey League, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2016 Bantam Protected Draft. The top 2001 birth year players from Hockey Eastern Ontario will be selected by our 12 member teams tonight and look forward to their midget and junior playing careers. Hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to the live broadcast of the 2016 CCHL Draft. Mike Nellis here on the floor of the Earl Armstrong Arena. Alongside me, Dave Reynolds and Tyler McDonald will be your broadcast crew for this evening's draft. And uh, gentlemen, Dave, I'll start with you. Uh, it's going to be another exciting draft here. The stands are packed with uh, prospective uh, picks here at the Armstrong Arena. Yeah, we just saw a couple weeks ago the Bantam, uh, Bantam AAA Provincials wrapped up, and there are a couple. to it. <laughs> well, there's a couple. There were we had two teams, the Ottawa Senators and the Eastern Ontario Wild. Both did very well in that tournament, and represented the HEO well. Yeah. And um, I'm going to say that there's going to be a lot of players picked from those two teams. I think that's a fair bet as uh, well both those teams not only got a lot of exposure during the season and looked very good during the season but they got a lot of exposure at that provincial championship tournament uh, with scouts from everywhere including these CCHL teams at the tournament and I'm going to bring in Tyler McDonald now and Ty uh, what are you expecting to see this evening obviously this is um, you know it, it's a good show and it's still one of the only leagues around in junior hockey that does uh, this live draft. Well, it is my first CCHL draft as well, so just like these kids, a little nervous, but uh, no. I think it's going to be very interesting to see. We saw a lot of kids this year in the CCHL, a lot of young, prospective talents, so uh, it, it's good for these kids. They'll be looking to get into the, the T, their respective teams, in the next few years. A lot of young talent coming up in the CCHL and uh, another group coming here tonight. And the picks for the Brockville Braves, the two pro techs have just been announced. There you see them on your screen right now, Simon Mack. Uh, right defenseman who was out of the Upper Canada Cyclones and also Cody Mons is the second one. He was a forward coming out of Upper Canada. So two local players taken by the Brockville Braves uh, as the first players drafted in the Protect. Of course, because these Protects were chosen before in a in-camera type of draft, uh, we now see these players being selected or not selected but presented to the crowd here in alphabetical order. Yeah, and Brockville's obviously starts with a B, and uh, I didn't do great in kindergarten, <laughs> but uh, I know that B We can figure that one yeah. out. <laughs> out, of all, out of the 12 teams, B's coming first, and actually, Simon Mack is one of my favorite players in Major Bantam AAA all, all last year. He's a mobile puck-moving defenseman, put up a lot of numbers, missed four games due to a broken jaw uh, due to a game against the Eastern Ontario Wild where he had a collision with his own teammate, but uh, he recovered very nicely, and I believe he was fourth on his team in scoring. And he's a very good player, and I think he's going to be an asset down the road for the Brockville Braves. Fourth on his team in scoring as a defenseman, Tyler McDonald. I mean, this league, the amount of offense in this league is outstanding, not only in the CCHL, but in junior in general. So for to add that offensive ability on the blue line for the Brockville Braves, I think it's going to be a huge aspect in the next few years and look for him to make a big impact as the years go on for Brockville. All right, welcome to the floor of the Earl Armstrong. I'm here with Simon Mack and Cody Moans, recently protected by the Brockville Braves. So how about you two describe your game and how you play the game of hockey? I'm um, a uh, uh, quick puck-moving offensive defenseman. A highly skilled forward who moves the puck and uh, puts the puck in the net. And you guys are both protected by the Brockville Braves. Uh, what do you think you guys are going to be able to bring to the organization in the long term or the near future? Hopefully um, some speed, um, point production uh, on the back end, and um, uh, some solid defensive um, style, I think. Someone who's going to score for the Braves, and uh, hopefully I'm going to develop more with the Braves organization. Oh, well, congratulations both of you on being selected by the Braves, and good luck to you this next, uh, this next upcoming season. And here comes Jason Clark up to the podium as we see one of the Protex announced, and, of course, the Carlton Place Canadians selection is uh, well their selections are Joseph Carroll and Connor Nickel so those are the two that were selected just now Carroll coming from the Ottawa Valley Titans and Nickel from the Ottawa Senators so uh, we first or pardon me uh, we see our first player selected from that uh, tournament of the uh, the Ottawa Senators or the or that the Ottawa Senators played in uh, at the uh, Bantam AAA Championships. Yeah, Nichols, a uh, solid player, smart, does the right things, and he can also put up points. The one you saw on your camera there, that there was Joseph Carroll. 
He's an, he's a typical Ottawa Valley boy, 6'1", 170 pounds at only 14 years old right now. Uh, you can only see him getting bigger as he gets older, but you see him going to the back right now with Jason Clark and the uh, Carlton Place Canadian uh, team. Joined now with Joseph Carroll, and Joseph, congratulations on being picked uh, by the Carlton Place Canadians. What's your thoughts, what's your feelings on being selected? Uh, well, uh, it's just going to be fun to play for the hometown team, and yeah. What type of uh, game do you think you're going to bring to this Canadians team? Uh, hopefully bring some scoring and some uh, help up on forward. Now, which NHL player would you kind of make your game, who do you play more like? Uh, I don't know, maybe like Malkin or Thornton, I don't know, yeah. Big four, get in there, get into deep, yeah. Is that more a physical game you like to play, or do you like to make the moves at the blue line and uh, go around the defenders? Oh uh, yeah, I like go around the defense, yeah. All right, congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, next team up is going to be the Cornwall Colts. We'll come to Ty for some analysis on that as the two pro techs announced for Cornwall. Parker Tallman and Jeremy Quesnel are the two picks for the Cornwall Colts as they make their way down from the crowd into the uh, onto the floor here at the Earl Armstrong Arena. And uh, I do want to go back to Dave first because we see Tallman, who was a Eastern Ontario Wild player, the first Wild player chosen, and so was uh, the second round protect Jeremy Quesnel. Yeah, they both played for the Eastern Ontario Wild. They uh, both, I believe, Kano, number seven uh, on the Wild, and Tolman was number 13. Tolman was notable throughout the tournament for his toughness. He took a beating. There were several times where he got just a couple passes that may not have been the best for him, and he got absolutely walloped. But he always got right back up and stayed in the game. And uh, he makes smart decisions from the point. And Canel's a scrappy forward up front. Um, he skates hard. He plays 200 feet, but he also plays 60 feet end to end. He doesn't shy away from anything. Back to the Earl Armstrong Arena here with the Cornwall Colts selections. As we mentioned earlier, Parker Tallman and Jeremy Canel are the two pro techs in the first two rounds of the CCHL draft for 2016 and um, well we're standing by so we may as well start the interview and uh, I'll start with you Parker just um, how happy are you and what does it mean to get picked by uh, the Cornwall Colts? Yeah I think it's pretty good to get uh, protected by your home organization and I think we could bring a lot to uh, the Colts this year coming. And Jeremy what about you how do you uh, how do you feel after getting protected by the Colts? Yeah it's a great honor uh, I've been uh, when, since I've been young I, I've been watching a lot of games so this is a great honor. That's good, and uh, I, I do want to ask you guys, because both of you guys, you mentioned it's your home association, you both had the opportunity to play at the, uh, at the Provincial Championships in Rockland as the host team. That must have been a really fun experience for you guys. Yeah, it was amazing. It was uh, one of the best caliber of skill and best week of hockey I've ever played in my life, so it gave me a lot of experience and a lot of momentum going forward. And Jeremy, how, how was it playing against teams from Toronto and other parts of Ontario? Um, I, I know you guys got to do that a lot during the season at different tournaments, but at the Provincials, it must have been it, it, it must have been exciting. Yeah, it was fun playing the top teams uh, in Ontario. Just see how we can battle against them and give them our best. And we beat a lot of them uh, during the year, and it uh, paid off by winning third and. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, best of luck next season with the Colts. Thank you. Right, thank thank you. you. Thanks. So I'm, with, I'm Dave Reynolds now. I'm still on the floor of the Earl Armstrong Arena. I'm with Nick Chartrand and Alex Hogue, recent protects of the Cumberland Junior grads. So, guys, you guys both play for the Eastern Ontario Wilds. Can you guys talk about your games and describe your game to people that will be watching you play in the future? Well, I'm a playmaker, and I'm a pretty, pretty good two-way player. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, play my offensive game and my defensive game. Alex, um, I'm a defensive. Uh, I'm a defensive and offensive uh, defenseman. I can join the rush. Uh, I'm known for a lot of speed too and my good first pass. And I'm just really looking forward to playing with Cumberland this year. All right. So you guys both, because you guys were on the Wild, obviously, you guys both had the opportunity to play in the Bantam AAA Provincials this past season. Talk about the experience that was for you guys. Oh well, uh, it was hell of an experience. Um, uh, it was uh, like unbelievable. 
uh, just playing in the provincials, representing our league, and uh, just uh, winning the bronze medal and uh, playing our balls out out there is a pretty fun experience. And uh, just getting the bronze again was just really, I was really proud of my team. And uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. All right, well, congratulations to both you guys on being protected and good luck in your junior A careers. We do have two more players selected just now as the Gloucester Rangers announced their protected picks. Alex Charlebois and Matt Vermaeten are the ones that have been chosen as they come out right now and head down to the podium to receive their Gloucester Rangers jerseys. All right, joined now by Alexander Charlebois and Matthew Vermaeten. Uh, guys, congratulations on being drafted by the Gloucester Rangers. First, I'll start with you, Alex. What are your thoughts on being drafted by the Rangers? I'm honored to be part of a great organization. I've heard good things about it, and yeah, I'm pretty honored. Matthew, yourself? Uh, I'm just excited to play here, you know, uh, at this high level, and I just think it's going to be a great year, and uh, although they haven't done extremely well in the past, I think we can really make a difference. Now, I saw both of you taking a tour around the Earl Armstrong Arena. This is going to be your home for when you play here. Uh, just your thoughts on maybe getting used to the boards or used to playing, being around here. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, well, I guess we'll have to see in practice. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, yourself? Well, I've played here before, and, and it's a great arena, so I think there's not too much to get used to, but it should be good. All right, final question for both of you. Alex, we'll start with you first. Which NHL player would you best kind of represent your game with? Uh, probably a Mark Mathot kind of guy, because uh, like, I'm used to playing with uh, Hoagie there, and yeah, that's my, pretty my role there, playing a really defensive type game. Matthew, which NHL player? Uh, probably an Artem Anisimov, just because I kind of work it down low and kind of play around with it for a bit and then work it up high and and every once in a while make a really nice move and people will like it. Yeah. Well, guys, congratulations. Hopefully we'll see you guys have some success here at the Real Armstrong Arena. Good job, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And here with the Protex for the Hawksbury Hawks, Xavier LeVay and Kiernan Craig, uh, first and second round picks from the... CCHL draft and uh, we'll start with Xavier um, you mentioned it yourself you're a hometown boy basically it's uh, you're, you're from Hawkesbury and now picked by your hometown team in uh, the pro tech rounds that has to be exciting yeah really uh, really excited to start the year with the Hawkesbury Hawks and uh, really proud of uh, getting picked in the first two rounds so you met all the coaches and you met all the uh, the, the draft picks that have already uh, been taken it's it's got to be exciting right now just this event too being on the floor and being uh, around everybody else yeah really exciting good and Kiernan um, I'll ask you uh, what, what your thoughts are right now you just mentioned before we went on air that uh, uh, you're from the Hawkesbury area not not right in there but uh, like 25 minutes I think you said yeah oh well I'm really excited to be a Hawk uh, I wanted to be one and uh, I'm happy to be here wearing a Hawks jersey that's good and what, what kind of style of play do you bring to the Hawksbury Hawks? Uh, I'll try to be uh, offensive player and defense. I, I'm, I'm more offense. I'll be uh, hard on the forecheck, I'll tr and I'll, be a, I'll try to be a two-way player. And Xavier, what about you? Uh, what style of play do you play? I play a, maybe a rough style. Okay. Uh, I'm maybe a, not the biggest guy, but I hit hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the other team doesn't, doesn't like me a lot when I... I play and uh, I like to score goals and that's good and one one, one last question for you guys um, I guess I guess going into next year do you have any set personal goals for yourself oh well I'll try to, to be the best person in the room outside the room be a, gr a great leader and bring a lot to the team any personal goals uh, Xavier uh, maybe I have a lot of penalties in the last years and maybe I have less penalties and play hard uh, offensively Good stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Good luck next year. And welcome back here with the Protex of the Canada Lasers, Jack Quinn and Alex Johnston. So we'll start with you, Alex. And uh, obviously the Canada Lasers, well, first of all, they're a team with pretty nice jerseys, i got to say. <laughs> and, you, and you get the nice gong show hats, too, so that's got to be nice. But uh, it, what it's, what, what's it like to be drafted by a CCHL team? Oh, it's just really exciting, you know, something you kind of look forward to, and uh, it's finally here. I've been looking forward to it since the end of the season, and it's just, it's really exciting. And Jack, you too, you got to be pretty excited about this. Yeah, it's exciting, yeah. 
And and I, I guess I'll ask you, Jack, first, because you played double-A hockey last year with the Aces. To get drafted to junior A, that has to be uh, exciting just because of the... Uh, um, you know the difference in in double A hockey being getting a chance to uh, potentially play triple A next year with Canada. Yeah, it's exciting. I wasn't really like expecting it, but I'm glad that it happened. I'm excited to play next year. Try try to play next year. Now, uh, Alex, I'll ask you uh, just and, and I'll ask you too, but um, just describe your playing style and uh, what fans can expect to see from you next year. Uh, just I like to play really fast and I like to. Care, or move the puck really fast and try and score as many goals as I can, but look for the odd assist. That's good. And Jack, what do you bring to the Canada Lasers? I uh, bring like offense, like to score goals and set up goals and uh, yeah, make plays. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Best of luck next year. I'm David Reynolds once again on the floor of the Earl Armstrong Arena. I'm here with Luke Cavillan and Cole Dennison of the Kempville 73s. Those are their Bantam Pro Techs for this upcoming season. So we'll start with Cole. Uh, why don't you describe your game to the Kentville fans who are going to be watching you play? Uh, I think I'm a two-way player. I can play on both sides of the puck, and I can back check well, and I get in the dirty areas, and I uh, try and get pucks to the net. All right, now, Luke, I can't really ask you how to describe your game because you're a goalie, and you would just say that you stop the puck. So tell me what it's like to be the only goalie selected in this Bantam, pro Bantam, <laughs> uh, Bantam protection. Well, um, I'm very grateful for it. Uh, it's a great experience. I'm very lucky to have been able to have been protected, and I appreciate everything they did for me. So back to you, Cole. Why don't you, uh, why don't you talk about uh, the Kepler 73's organization and what it means to be protected by them and what you can bring to them? Uh, I think it's a great organization. My brother was protected by them two years ago, and uh, I've seen it through the past two years how great of an organization it is. And I've uh, been affiliated with them, and I uh, played a few games, uh, and I'm just very excited to play. All right, what about you? Oh uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play too. I got affiliated. I was very lucky for that, and yeah, it's just looking forward to the year. All right, well, congratulations to both of you, and good luck in your upcoming seasons. Thank you very much. I'm joined now by Nepean Raiders draft picks Joshua Shimizu and Antonio Silanu. Congratulations, guys, on being drafted by Nepean. We'll first start with you, Josh. What are your thoughts on being drafted by the Nepean Raiders? I'm proud. It's, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Uh, I heard they did pretty well last, last season with them, and I'm looking forward to get started with them. And so it'll go same question with you. What does it feel like to be drafted by Nepean? Uh, it feels really good, you know. Glad I made it this far, and I thank my parents for where I am today, and uh, lots of good things ahead. All right, we'll start off. We'll back to you, Josh. Now, what are you expecting to bring to the Pian from your game? I'm a smaller forward, so, uh, but I have a lot of speed, so I'll be uh, hardworking in the corners, and hopefully I'll bring a lot of speed to the team and score some goals. Antonio, an injury to your arm right there, so that's why uh, it was, I'm sure, tough to put the jersey on for you during draft day. Uh, first, what happened to your arm, and uh, two, are you looking, will you be fine next year from the Pian? Uh, so, in the showcase this weekend, uh, went for... Uh, big hit and uh, after I hit the kid I fell on top of him arm went a little awkward out for about four weeks but should be returning just fine and hopefully it'll be good to go for next season all right gentlemen congratulations on being drafted and uh, enjoy your night Thank you. thanks and we uh, welcome you back here to the Earl Armstrong Arena once again with the Protex of the Ottawa Junior Senators Will Collins and Matthew Talbot um, I'm just going to ask you guys very quickly about um, what it means to be drafted by uh, the Ottawa Junior Senators. I'll start with you, Will. Uh, they're a team that's still playing hockey right now in the Bogart Cup Final, so you must be excited. Yes, they are a very good team, and uh, we should have a good year. That's good. And Matt, uh, how do you feel after getting drafted? It looks like a great organization and looks uh, looking forward to the trials uh, this summer. That's good, and uh, I'll go back over to you, Will. And what kind of player are you? What can fans of the Ottawa Junior Senators expect to see next year? A lot of offense. What, what kind of offense? Are you, a, are you a disher or are you a shooter? Kind of both. It really depends. Uh, I, I, I'll be that man that will score those if they need me. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what kind of player I am. That's good. And uh, Matt, how about you? What kind of, uh, what kind of player are you? I think I'm a two-way player and also a playmaker in front, and yeah. So it has to be nice if you're a two-way player because Ottawa is a team that plays well defensively. So that has to be uh, that has to be nice if you're if you're a two-way player. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, that's good because I I like playing defense. Defense is first, and yeah. 
And uh, all right, well, I guess that'll do it, guys. Thanks a lot, and uh, best of luck next year. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. I'm David Reynolds, once again on the floor of the Earl Armstrong Arena. This time I'm with the protects of the Pembroke Lumber Kings. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell the people watching uh, how you play your game of hockey. Uh, I'm Simon Rose. I play a two-way game, you know, defenseman. I like to rush the puck, but also make that first pass. Uh, I'm Nick Cuddy. Um, kind of a grinder in the corner. Uh, always, you know, chip and chase kind of hockey. Uh, and just grind it out along the boards. So defensive forward. All right, so you guys have been drafted by the Pembroke Lumber Kings, and that's an organization with a huge history over the past couple of years and for a time being. Talk about what it's like to be drafted by an organization with that type of history. It feels great to be going to an organization like Pembroke with such a history and rich background. It's going to be great. Uh, it's great. I mean, they have, a, they have a history of winning with the five-peat there and the uh, RBC Cup in 2011, so I feel honored and just just grateful for to be drafted all right so what do you think you guys can bring to the organization short term long term uh, i think i can bring some wins to the, to the team and the organization hopefully have a good season next year just win some games all right uh i think i'm just like i'm ready to just bring the, the defensive forward kind of game uh and play a full 200 foot game all right well congratulations on the protection good luck to both you uh simon and you nick Joined now by the Smith Falls Bears, uh, Bantam Protects. Uh, Bruce, we'll start off with you first. Uh, you had an amazing goal, apparently, in the Provincials. Uh, we'll just take us through it, first of all, and maybe what your thoughts or what your team's reaction thoughts were. Uh, I was pretty surprised, uh, to be honest. You know, I just kind of, like, deked out the defenseman, got on a breakaway, fake shot, backhand, the goalie tried to poke check and open net. Uh, Reed Russett now, you were the top scorer in the, those Provincials. Just give us your thoughts on uh, what you're going to bring to the Smith Falls Bears with all that scoring talent. Uh, I like to think of myself as a playmaker. I like to set up my line mates back door a lot when I can. So I think that I'm going to try and bring a lot of passing to the team and try and get a lot of shots on net when I can. Bruce, now what, what's it like to be honored uh, to be picked by the Smith Falls Bears because it's a great organization over there in Smith Falls? Pretty exciting to be honest. Uh, my brother was drafted there earlier last year and I'm excited to see what happens and look forward to the future. Reed, yourself, uh, what's it like to be drafted by Smith Falls? Uh, it's really an honor to be drafted by such an amazing organization. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be a part of such a great group of coaches and players and hopefully good things to come in the future with this team. All right, final question for you, Bruce. Uh, what should the Smith Falls Bears fans be excited about from your play? What are they looking uh, forward to? Uh, maybe my offensive and defensive ability. I feel I could be a two-way defenseman, good in the offensive zone and defensive zone. And finally, Reed, yourself, what, uh, what should the fans of Smith Falls be looking forward to? Uh, just hopefully a couple goals left in my stick for next year and uh, to just bring an offensive presence for the team. Bruce Coltart and... Uh, Reed Russell, congratulations, congratulations guys on being drafted. Good luck. We do want to thank everybody who has been a part of this broadcast, putting it together, all the volunteers, as well as all the people that have made this uh, draft work here at the Earl Armstrong Arena. Lots of setup that went into this, and now we get a very good show out of it for a lot of these players. It still remains one of the best, um, one of the best events of the CCHL season and it's too bad that the season's coming to an end either this week or next week but regardless we're gonna sign off right now for David Reynolds and Ty McDonald we thank you for tuning in to the CCHL draft here on Fast Hockey.